Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Gaddy's Garage. Don't mind my messy hair. It's a lazy day today. So thank you to the new subscribers. We're actually at 399 subscribers right now. My goal by the end of this month, like I already said, is 450 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel, please uh, consider please consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, any like on the video also is very appreciated. So in today's video, I'm going to do a little unboxing because next week's video will be the install. But as I told some of you guys, I did order the turbo and I didn't go Garrett or Precision or anything like that because this is a budget Honda build. Um, so I actually went through Max Speeding Rods because that's the coilovers I used on my BMW and they have pretty good customer service and stuff like that. I've always been able to get a hold of them and stuff like that. So it did come There's in the mail. box right now. As you see, I haven't opened it. I just kind of took my name or my address off the label. So. Let's go ahead and open this. Um, not sure what to expect. The very first thing you gotta check on a turbo, obviously, is shaft play. So hopefully, hopefully that's all good right there. But uh, they told me in the email that it is made with like forged internals. So, I mean, who knows if that's true or not, but we'll see. So I'm pretty excited because this is honestly is the first brand new turbo I've ever bought. I had a couple used ones and uh, I didn't really want to go with that this or this time. So there is a turbo right here. Um, pretty decently heavy. There you got like the V-band gasket and Yeah. There's all that. Get rid of all these peanuts and stuff. Just turn that aside. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. All right, so here we have with the turbo. It's actually pretty decently sized. Actually, I was kind of kind of actually impressed. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller. So I went with the 63 trim. Um, 0.63 AR. And that is because, yeah, we keep getting messages. And that is because uh, it's a little bit more extrudable. I don't have to be in boost like all the time. You can go with a .48 AR, and uh, apparently that spools really quick. Spin a lot of tires and stuff like that. But better for track and stuff, which I think I'm gonna do a video later on after this turbo is installed and tuned and stuff. We're gonna do a video uh, comparing boost times with the 48 and a 63 um so yeah let me uh, get this bag open all right so here's the turbo um this is a internal wastegate we are going to be getting rid of that because on my manifold it is uh external and i'm sure there's a block off plate we can probably use but uh we're gonna use that so <clears throat> it's a little bit easier to adjust boost pressures um there's absolutely no shaft play well, little to none shaft play. And here you see it, I mean, it spins freely. It's pretty heavy, it seems pretty solid. Now, there are some casting imperfections. I mean, you see, like, there's a big one right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, that's what you kind of have to expect. I mean, like, the uh, cast iron is extremely rough right here, it's smooth right here. So, obviously, they did that for appearance. Didn't really matter about the inside. Um, does have some sort of serial number on it. So yeah, I mean here, this is the, the turbocharger that's going to be going on the Civic. Like I explained, this is a .63 AR. It is a uh, T3, T4 hybrid um, TD04 turbocharger. So it has the T3 flange. We are going to be taking, and so in next week's video, we're going to be installing this turbo onto the Civic and just seeing what it looks like, seeing where the, we got to clock it and where the drain actually comes out at so we can uh, properly fill a hole because we don't want any weird angle on the drain line. You just want it to be straight down and at 45. So that way it just gravity feeds right into the, the uh, oil pan. And then uh, we're going to be taking this housing off right after that and sending this 
to a town near me so I can get it uh, powder coated. And I think you guys are gonna like the color. It took me a little while to choose the color that I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna try to make it all color themed and make it look nice and stuff like that. So that is the turbo. I don't know what else to say about it. If you guys have any questions or comments about this turbo, if you want me to look over it, or maybe address it in next week's video, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll make sure I get to it's it. It's kind of weird, is you know, you get all this, you have no paperwork stating what it is. Um, it says it's from Max Speeding Rods, but I doubt that they actually manufacture it. But uh, I don't know. So the next video you see will be me installing this, and that will be next week's video. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could actually uh, put it in this week's video, but because I didn't order anything else other than the turbo itself, then I actually don't have any more content for you guys. And I'm trying to keep weekly videos. Uh, I missed last week because I had a family thing. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a short one, and yeah, but I hope you guys are excited for me to install this turbo and get the whole turbo system set up. Like I said, this video is gonna. Or, the series, the Turbo Civic, is going to take a while. But I'm trying to do everything right. And no used parts. It's all budget parts and stuff like that. And I know it's pretty cheap. Like, I could just take 500 bucks and buy a turbo kit. But I kind of wanted to do it my way. And uh, see how it goes from there. I think the only kit I'm actually going to go with is an intercooler kit. And uh, even then, I'm probably going to get some, uh, like, elbows welded and stuff like that. Just so there's not so many couplers. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video next week. Look forward to me installing this turbo onto the Civic and then taking off the housing. That way we can get it sent in for powder coating. And I think you guys will like the color that I'm going with. Um, it was pretty hard to actually figure out a color that I wanted to do. So uh, I will also I'll reveal that. And then I think I'm gonna order the, uh, um, I think I'm gonna order the uh, return line tonight. That way, next week, it is here. So when the video of me installing the turbo is coming out, I am actually making another video for the return line. Try to get a week ahead kind of thing. And then uh, I think after the return line, like I said, we're going to do probably the feed line. And then after the feed line, intercooler, injectors. Um, I'm, I'm more excited about the tuning part. But that's going to be like during the uh, summer or spring when it warms up a little bit before the car meet. And actually, I already have uh, my dyno guy. He's up and willing to uh, tune on this SST chip, even though it's a pain in the ass. Because every single time you want to make a change, you got to pull the chip out and reburn it and stuff like that. But it's all right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Give me the 450 subscribers. Peace.